Hi, my name is Dr. Jason Smith and I'm a surgeon at the University of Louisville in Louisville, Kentucky. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk to you a little bit about our manuscript about adjunctive peritoneal resuscitation and how it along with plasma may be able to significantly reduce end organ damage following hemorrhagic shock. Now this manuscript really builds upon our, a lot of our prior laboratory experience and, and looks at our efforts at trying to use the peritoneal cavity as a modulator of the inflammatory response following shock. Now we've done this clinically and used uh, direct peritoneal resuscitation or DPR in that setting with some pretty good results. But what we're looking for is a way to elucidate those mechanisms and find out how and why it may change the inflammatory process after a shock state. Um, this particular study, we're looking at comparing crystalloid resuscitation, FFP resuscitation, and then comparing and using adjunctive peritoneal resuscitation in both of those settings to try and identify what happens in the microcirculatory states of your visceral organs as well as other organs in the body during that post-resuscitation phase of our care. Now in this particular manuscript we actually demonstrated that if you use DPR and have that as an adjunct to plasma resuscitation in those patients following hemorrhagic shock, not only do you get the benefits of DPR but you and plasma but they also appear to be synergistic and it improves organ function as well as reducing overall organ injury and increasing blood flow not just to the liver and the viscera but also to the cardiac uh, muscle. And so we did demonstrate in this manuscript that looking at cellular injury in the cardiac muscle that using both DPR and plasma can really reduce that as well as identifying that we can reduce the injury to your intestines and to what appear to the uh, liver following shock when we're using both uh, our fresh frozen plasma resuscitation and our DPR. Um, for us, this is building on you know really a, a number of works, and uh, we look forward to being able to hopefully look at this and apply this in a more clinical setting. Uh, I want to thank the authors on this manuscript for all the work they've done in putting this in and for our continued efforts. I want to thank you for your interest and appreciate the uh, opportunity to talk to you just briefly about what this manuscript means to us. Thank you very much.